Illinois, also known as a prairie state, holds some of the most dangerous offenders in the nation. Chicago has plenty of dangerous criminals to supply the prison system. We'll take a look at the facilities and the dangerous people they hold. Illinois Department of Correction employs 11,913 staff with 38,141 inmates housed across 28 state prisons. Our focus today is going to be the three maximum security facilities. We'll start with one of the largest facilities in the state, Menard Correctional Center, which houses 3,205 inmates. It is located in the southwest part of the state on the banks of the mighty Mississippi. The facility is quite old, opened in 1878. Menard housed one of the death row locations for the state. Illinois granted clemency to all death row inmates in 2003 and outlawed the practice in 2011. Menard is a violent facility, with three staff members assaulted in 2017, resulting in hospitalization. More significantly, in May 1973, 38 inmates took over the facility commissary and held an officer hostage for 16 hours. The facility made news in 2004, when two inmates died while serving time in solitary confinement. Then, in 2014, an inmate killed his cellmate while they were housed in solitary confinement together. Notable former inmates of the facility include Drew Peterson, a former police officer convicted of killing his third wife. He received substantial media attention. Maybe the most famous prisoner, John Wayne Gacy, the serial killer clown. Gacy was known to enjoy painting while at the facility. Menard may be the most menacing in the state. Let's see how the next two stack up. Our next facility, Pontiac Correctional Center, also an older facility, opened in 1871. Located in a small community in the central part of the state, it has a capacity of 2,298. Pontiac, like Menard, is also dangerous for both staff and inmates. Pontiac had a major right in both 1973 and 1978. As a result of the 1978 riot, only a few offenders are allowed to move at a time. The maximum security offenders are only allowed out of their cell for a limited recreation, shower, and visits. From 2013 to 2017, a series of brutal attacks occurred on officers at the facility. In 2016, an officer was brutally attacked by an inmate, resulting in the officer's union marching outside of the facility for better working conditions. Another attack in 2016 left six correctional employees and several inmates injured in the facility on lockdown. Notable inmates at the facility include William Balfour. He was convicted of murdering the mother, brother, and nephew of entertainer Jennifer Hudson. Larry Eiler, believed to have murdered a minimum of 21 people, was also housed at the facility. As you can see, Pontiac Correctional Center may be just as deadly as Menard. Both are places I would dread to have to go. The last facility, but by no means the safest, Statesville Correctional Center, located just outside Joliet, not far from Chicago. It has a capacity of 4,134, but typically holds around 3,500 at any given time. The facility has the only remaining roundhouse in the country. Statesville also has its fair share of violence. In the late 80s, a guard was killed by inmates, and by the early 90s, gang violence at the facility had gotten out of control. An inmate killed his cellmate in 2009, and questions arose as to why non-violent offenders are housed with inmates with a history of violence. Notable inmates at this facility include the lipstick killer, William Hirons, who was convicted of murdering three people. Also, Richard Speck, a mass murderer convicted of killing eight student nurses. He died of a heart attack at the facility in 1949. Although not as famous as Menard and Pontiac, Statesville is no walk in the park. Illinois prisons hold their own as some of the most dangerous in the country. I would never want to spend a day in any of these facilities. If you enjoyed my content, please like, subscribe, and share. See you next time.